How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I'm going to be ranking all 30 future stars that we just had released in the future of the franchise program. So let's go ahead and get right into it. And I want to start by saying that I have not tried any of these cards out. There are a few players in this program that have a different version of their card already in the game. But coming in at number 30 we have Mason Wynn and this card's very good. I mean all of these cards are very good. I also want to mention, right, you can build a team of all these future stars and be just fine, kind of like they showed in their live stream. Uh, but we have the lower power hitters kind of at the bottom here, Mason Wynn and Pete Crow Armstrong at 30 and 29. We have Austin Martin at 28. This card is pretty good, right? Higher contact, plays a variety of positions, has gold defense. Uh, he will be a little bit better when you parallel him up a little bit. So he has gold defense at every one of those secondary positions. Uh, but he's still at the bottom of my list here. Michael Harris. I don't think this card's very good, but he might have some hidden pitching attributes. I mixed it up in my last video. I said Khalil. Uh, what is his last name? Khalil Watson. Yeah, I said that he was a two-way player. I was mistaken. That was Michael Harris, and I mixed those two guys up. But at number 26, we have Brian Bello. I think he's all right, right? Some of these starting pitchers are pretty good. But the pitchers that don't necessarily have the best pitch mix, or I guess the speed differential, or the secondary pitches that I'm looking for, kind of like Brian Bello and Blake Walston, I ranked him a little bit lower, right? Walston is a lefty. He's pretty good. But having that secondary pitch as a curveball and that pitch having the most break, that's just not necessarily what I'm looking for. I don't think the curveball is that great in the game. But at number 24, Luis Camposano. Definitely a solid catcher, right? We also have Joey Bart as another catcher. Two cards that I thought were pretty similar, right? This guy will have diamond defense at an earlier parallel. Camposano will only have gold defense. Um, but they're good in their own way, right? I guess if you're a fan of either team, then you'll go for those guys earlier on. Uh, but they're, for me, at the bottom 10 of this list. Josh Lowe definitely looks pretty good. 22, uh, solid all-around outfielder. Good speed, diamond defense, good power. Just a lefty. We have a plethora of outfielders already in the game. I think there is some more value in this program at different positions. Same type of thing with Yoel Cuisespedes. Definitely a solid card, but at ranked at number 21. At number 20, we have Michael Toglia. I think, you know, a switch hitter adds some value. He does play first base. Uh, he's lower rated in speed. Uh, but he does have diamond defense, so you might be able to use him in the outfield. To me, he doesn't have as much value having under 60 speed. I just don't think has a lot of range in the game. Shea Langliers at number 19, definitely a solid catcher. Uh, if you don't have, you know, Jorge Posada, Joe Maurer, some of the better and uh, more balanced catchers in the game, then maybe you go with Langliers, Corey Lee. I still think there's a better catching option. We do have a plethora of catchers in this program as well. Uh, Jorge or George Valera, I think is pretty good. I kind of moved him down on my list. Had this guy initially ranked a little bit higher, uh, but I moved him down. I think there's some better all-around options, uh, but I still think he's very solid, kind of the middle of the pack diamond. Here we have Oswald Peraza, right-handed middle infielder. Not the most power, right? 82-86, probably could be ranked a little bit lower, but all-around really good, right? Diamond defense, good speed, decent power, kind of like a four-and-a-half tool player. Same type of thing here with Bryson Stott. Not the most power. Left-handed hitting infielder, which is you know not as prevalent. But we do have a lot more lefties in the game now, obviously. And we also have Nick Prado. A pretty good first baseman, outfielder. A little bit more speed, but still not someone I would want to use out there in the outfield, even though he will have diamond defense at a couple parallels. Arelvis Martinez. Honestly, this card could be ranked a little bit lower, too. But the fact that he is a versatile infielder, has pretty good all-around hitting attributes, good vision, good clutch, great contact, uh, not necessarily against lefties, kind of reverse splits, but still a pretty good option. We have Gunnar Henderson, at, ranked at number 12. I like this card. I, I don't know. I think he'll be pretty good. Maybe could be ranked above this Henry Davis. Uh, depends on what you need, though, right? I mean, this entire program depends on what you need. Um, but in terms of like what I think has the most value, I think some of these pitchers in this program have the most value. At number 11, Henry Davis. He beat me in a game, and I think he has a really good swing. Highest rated catcher in here. This pick right here, Garrett Mitchell at number 10, is a little bit interesting. I don't know if he should be rated this high, but I think this card will be all around really solid. He'll have 99 speed. 
at parallel five. I'm not entirely putting him at number 10 just because of that. Um, but all around solid player, lowest attribute, 75 power against lefties. That is not that bad. Uh, but Matt Brash, I still think, you know, some of the value in some of these starting pitchers are really good. These pitchers have, you know, great break, a slurve and a slider with 88, 99 break. That's certainly solid. I still think Jackson Job is a little bit better having that slider as a primary pitch. This guy kind of reminds me almost like a Juan Marichal-esque type of pitcher. He doesn't have the same control, not near, not nearly as good of control, obviously. Um, but great break, good speed differential on those pitches, and that's why I have him rated at number eight. Reed Detmers might have a little bit of a glitchier motion than some of these other pitchers, and that's another thing I want to mention, right? Some of these pitchers could definitely not be as good as I think they are, depending on their defaulted motion. Um, but number six, Austin Hendrick. I really think this guy might be the best outfielder out of the entire program, uh, especially if you factor in the parallel system. Right At parallel four, he'll have 85 contact against both sides, 90 against righties. At parallel five, he'll have diamond defense. Justin Foscu is the only second baseman in this program, and I think he has a lot of value there. 112 power against lefties. He might even be better than this Brady House, but I think that having you know versatility makes a difference. I think having different options makes a difference. We're getting into the top five, so... Some of these guys are kind of interchangeable. I think this Brett Beatty card is very good. Lefty, though, you might not have enough room for more lefties in your lineup. I know I have four in my lineup as of this current moment. Um, but with that said, you know, some of these guys are going to be good for events and Battle Royale and different modes in the game. You don't have to use all these guys on your rank squad. But coming in at number two, Khalil Watson. I thought this guy was a two-way player. He's a very good player, and I think he's, you know, an all-around beast. That's why I have him rated at number two. I don't think anybody is better than this Bobby Miller card. I think pitching kind of reigns supreme in this program. We need a lot more higher overall pitchers, and this guy has great control, great break, outlier, a good pitch repertoire, and I think, personally, I think he's better than Roy Holiday, and that's kind of interesting to think about, but he has better K per nine, which is going to affect the timing window. He does have, you know, right around the same hits per nine, good stamina, a better pitch repertoire, in my opinion, right? I would rather have outlier on the fastball, a decent sinker, a great splitter, and a good slider. I, I don't know. I think this is a really good card. Curveball might be his lowest rated pitch, and I think he'll pitch like Walker Bueller in the game. That's just my personal thought that's a prediction i don't know i think he'll have the same motion as walker bueller to be honest but that's going to do it for this video ranking all 30 future stars kind of which ones to go after in this program you can pick 12 of them and i didn't notice that you can also pick some of these face of the franchise diamonds at the end of the program so keep that in mind as well that's going to do it i'm college lefty and peace out